America's election headquarters in depth tonight. Eye-popping figures on how much money the presidential campaigns are throwing at ads. So far in 2016, more than $231 million, including more than $35 million in South Carolina alone, according to SMG Delta and NBC News. With all that money at stake, you would think the campaigns would want to be sure they were getting it right. But mistakes, both factual and tactical, are flooding the airwaves. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen takes a look. It's morning again in America. With those words, Marco Rubio's ad maker sought to stir memories of the patriotic commercial that helped President Reagan win re-election in 1984. <laughs> Except the America depicted in Rubio's opening shot was shot in Vancouver. The Canadian flag can even be seen hoisted above the vessel trawling through the harbor. In a number of ads this cycle, what you get isn't exactly what you see. Case in point, Donald Trump's first ad from January. He'll stop illegal immigration by building a wall on our southern border. <laughs> Except that border and all those crossing it were filmed in Morocco. A maker of hundreds of Republican ads explained how such things happen. You're making these ads as fast as you can. You're staying up in the middle of the night in these dark, gloomy edit studios, and mistakes get made. But sometimes they're just tiny microscopic errors that, you know, in the bright light of the media spotlight, become big stories. The Rubio campaign thanked BuzzFeed for catching the Canadian goof but kept the ad up. A spokesman for Trump said their use of the Moroccan border was 1,000% intentional. Ted Cruz, however, did pull an ad found to have used as part of the ensemble cast a former adult film star and Virginia-based media general, owner of 71 TV stations in 48 markets, pulled an ad created by the Super PAC supporting Cruz that accused Marco Rubio of backing sanctuary cities, calling the ad inaccurate. There's been so many negative ads uh, in the last couple presidential races, 80, 90 percent of all ads are negative uh, and nothing is positive. The problem is we're now not sure negative ads work and, and when you have such a glut of them, it's hard to know what's true and not true and I think people tune out. Of course, the most devastating and buzzworthy political commercial of all time, Lyndon Johnson's attack ad against Barry Goldwater, marrying the image of a little girl picking daisies with a nuclear mushroom cloud, also had to be pulled after only one airing. Brett? James Rosen, our resident historian. James, thanks.